devil. Hey, William. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. So telling. We are doing Eurovision stages, and of course, the Eurovision 2014 stage was shaped like what? A diamond. But then, if you feel your heartbeat, the shape changes. It really does. It gets a little circular. It does get circular. What Eurovision was that? 2011. Exactly. Dusseldorf. What about a big old runway? Um, that was... God, that's actually quite a few, but Vienna, I reckon. No, I was thinking Stockholm. Ira Lasko's gorgeous runway. I was thinking of Dunn International kind of walking it and oh. then lifting her arms up. In any case, should we talk about our favorite Eurovision stage of the past decade? <laughs> Let's do this! Let's do this! <laughs> Devin, this past decade was filled with so many amazing stages, so many different shapes. I, just look in Tel Aviv, the most recent one. Triangle Dead inspiration. I love Very clever. Yeah, it took a small arena, made it look enormous. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what's really telling is the talents of Florian Weider. Oh, he gets it. His he, Lisbon he, stage, that massive ship. He's done so many, hasn't he? Kiev. Oh the yeah. The giant shark. Absolutely. Azerbaijan. Oh my goodness, very rectilinear. Absolutely. Angular. But my favorite is the most angular of all, and that is Copenhagen. Hashtag join him. <laughs> join us. I had to think about that. And but that stage was actually designed by Klaus Zeyer. And the lighting director was Caspar Lang. It looked so good. Oh my god, it was Denmark's ever biggest light show. Ever. A massive diamond, so many lights. Basically, even the LED floor was oh. touch sensitive. And, you know, over 3,000 lights. It was, you know what I really, really liked about it? For me, it was the Eurovision where each act looked so different. Yeah. There was a clear visual narrative and it was about the act and less about the staging. It was a very big stage, but you did feel that most of the performers still managed to have a presence and shine through, except when they didn't. For instance, it really swallowed my May Fine Gold. I think if you didn't have a lot going on staging-wise, you got swallowed up by the massive diamond. So if, for instance, her team kind of left her stranded. Because it's an amazing song, but then on stage... Can we just can we just talk about the acts that did really shine through? Greece's freaky oh, fortune trampoline. and risky kid. And you know, you could just see that bounce on the trampoline. Love that. It was almost like darting in and out of that diamond. Emma Maroney's fashion moment on that gold catwalk. panties, honey. Oh my god. And you know, in that diamond, it was just like, wow, wow, you open into this fashion world. The common linnets. Oh. The intimacy that they portrayed, they transformed that stage into like a ghost town, a highway at night, spinning camera. It was beautiful. Honey, even Twin Twin that did come last in the show, it was like pop a can of cray and just look into that diamond. Yeah. The Tom O'Chelvy sisters who were in that diamond, it was like getting into this world. This On really... a seesaw. Yeah. Maria Yarumchuk in a hamster wheel. Oh my God. How... Great use of props that year. How about Conchita looking in that diamond, unpacking the beauty. The wings that emerged from that diamond. Oh, I love that. Love it. It was great such year. a great, great year. Rainmaker looked amazing. Oh my God. Amelie DeForest took us to the Amazon. Absolutely. And of course, it totally matched with the theme of the contest, which was join us. So they're like in their little bubble, but they're telling you to join us. The two walls joined. And it was the first time in Eurovision history that it cracked 196 million vi viewers. Crazy. It was, it was great, it was great, it was great. Loved that stage, but it's not my favorite. Uh, I, you, I know your favorite. You've talked about this often enough in many other videos. Feel your heartbeat. No. Oh! That was my favorite. There's aspects of that. The overall show, that's my favorite. Okay. Because it was an unpredictable year. You didn't know who was going to win, necessarily. I loved how the LED opened to reveal the green room. I thought that was a really cool effect. I thought that was I good. love the circular stage. It's a close second. But if I'm focused on just, like, LED and stage, just the LED and stage. Dare to dream. No. Okay, you have to tell me. I actually... Sweden 2016. Oh. It was a good stage. Mm. Again, 
Jamala's graphic really Mom. popped against that wall. Ira Lasko, it looked like she was walking down a massive runway. Zoe from Austria, mm. Barbie's Playland. It was like mm. the, the Magic Kingdom on that stage. Every act had different texture. Again, similar to your point about 2014. The top acts this year, Dami Im, stunning skyscrapers. Sergei Lazarev, climbing a wall. Jamala, the tree. I mean, Iveta Mukuchan. Yeah, that worked. But you know it what? also didn't work for some acts. Oh. Like Moldova's Lydia Izak with her astronaut. It didn't seem believable enough to kind uh, of zoom into that but world. But I don't know if that's SVT's stage fault or if it's. It's probably the just delegation. the stage itself. Like, it just, it was good. Listen, that astronaut would not have looked any better on a diamond. It wouldn't. So at that point, you gotta ask yourself, is it the stage or is it the concept? I love Lydia Izzah. She's my queen. She's my queen, but I think with they needed different camera cuts. It didn't work for Agnette's um, Icebreaker, as great as the song Greta was. Greta Salome either. Yeah. As, oh, in fact, it was really bad, it was for, bad her. for her. So again, but again, you know, the, are these because of the, the stage itself, or because of the creative decisions of the team? You know, it's hard. The team of the delegation. I mean, it's hard to weigh up. Subject to debate. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? What is your favorite Eurovision stage of the past decade, and why? Does size matter to you? Does LED need to be everywhere? Let us know here on Movie Vlogs. It's interesting. This is one of the ones where I couldn't decide what was my least favorite because I actually think the stage at Eurovision oh, is pretty good. It's yeah. always good. Yeah. I mean, this is comparing diamonds. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want a big old diamond-shaped diamond or like Drake Drizzy? Do you want a heart-shaped diamond? <laughs> oh my God, we are on multiple social media platforms, of course, especially Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. So follow us on those. We'll see you later. Bye.